get the view. Not sure where we're sleeping <laughs> so far tonight. It's like one o'clock. Travis Collins, one of my favourites. Pulled up at Peterson's. Good morning. Today I'm getting a private tour of Dawn's property and she said there's a pretty good view up the top so I'll show you when I get up there. There you go guys. What a view. Hillside camping just outside of Tamworth. Hope you enjoyed that private tour of Hillside Camp. Now I'm back at the van and Miss Ginger's hanging out the window. Where'd you go? So not sure if you can hear Miss Ginger. She's just excited because <laughs> we're about to go explore the town of Tamworth and see what we can find in there. Let's go. Dogs must be on leash and under control at all times. So, under control now. <laughs> Look at the river, how high and how fast it's going. This is the Peel River Walk. It's a two kilometre walk or two and a half kilometres or something. It's actually, actually pretty cool because there's free parking just next to the river. Um, but down in town, it's, you have to pay for parking. And the river's quite high and flowing really fast because I've had a lot more rain than normal. So you can see how far up the river has actually risen with the flooding and it's covering the walking path behind us so yeah it's quite crazy to think that a couple days ago this was all underwater and now it's just mud and sludge so that's the walking track there checking out the country music here famous hands i think it's called as you can see famous country music artists handprints in the concrete. Ron and Rosie Adset, Ross McGregor, Travis Collins, one of my favourite country music artists, Catherine Brick, I've seen Lee Kernigan somewhere, Luke O'Shea, it's pretty cool. If you haven't been to Tamworth, well, I'd definitely come check it out and even come around January something and it's a country music festival. 13th. The 13th of January to uh, I think about the 22nd, yeah. So I've been to it once. It's bloody awesome if you like country music. Amber Lawrence. Drew McAllister. Lee Kernigan, there you go. Slim Dusty, 1977. This is the Picasso guitar. It's about six and a half meters high. Pretty cool. We've realized they really take care and put a lot of effort into their town. Like these parks are beautifully looked after even though they've just had heaps of rain and it's been flooded. They're out there mowing them. Um, got all these sculptures, beautiful gardens, got lights right around so you can walk around at night and stuff like that. They also got bins and park benches, so you can sit down at the dam and watch the ducks swim. Around the whole park, you got these scan me, 
and you scan it and it just gives you information on whatever you're looking at say it's a statue it's pretty cool or they got ones to scan to see where off-leash dog areas are which is good as well Tex Morton Can you... Shirley Toms Toms? 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 Toms Australia's yodeling sweetheart Can you yodel? Oh no no Yodelay, 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 yee-hoo! Reg. Indigenous performance. Mm. It was Australia's first Aboriginal country star with his huge hits, Royal Telephone and Baby Blue. Good morning, or good afternoon now, actually. Yeah, it's afternoon. Yeah, it's around lunchtime, I think. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> it's only the way we know what time of day it is anymore, <laughs> judging on how hungry or thirsty we are. <laughs> yeah. So we just took a drive up to get some water to Oxley, Oxley Scenic, Scenic Lookout. Lookout. Yep. Um, it's a pretty good lookout, actually. We'll show you around in a minute. Yeah. But Tamworth providing the goods again. Yeah, really cool spot. It's got heaps of little picnic benches. They've all got shelters. It's even got ramps up to the lookout, so people who are disabled are still able to come up and have a look. Yeah. Water tap, um, drinking water for if you want to fill your bottle, a bubbler, mm. and a water bowl for the dogs to drink out of as well. Yeah, really, really so, nice. Pretty good, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Definitely worth it. And beautiful lawn. I always like a good lawn. <laughs> I feel like it wouldn't normally be this green though. No, definitely not. Yeah, but... especially the last heap camp we stayed at, they said no smoking unless you're in your car. Um, obviously we don't smoke, but for those who do, because yeah, the the ashes and the dry grass. Just, yeah, yeah. not a good combination. Yeah. So. So. She was saying it's always so dry out here. This is the most rain they've ever seen. Yeah, it's been a drought for like the last six years or something. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, let's we'll go check you. it out. Yeah. Check out the view. This is um, the lower lookout. They got, what, three different lookouts? Mm. All in the one area. And it's still bloody stunning. We're on um, Kimmila Road country at the moment. And yeah, it's just crazy to think that this country spans so big. Um, Camilleroy is like, I think it's the second biggest in New South Wales and the fourth biggest in the country. So one of the huge, huge ones. Just so lucky that we are able to go and see things like this. And as travelers, we need to remember that we're guests on Aboriginal land. Um, and yeah, just to feel blessed to be able to do this is unreal, so yeah. Pretty crazy, isn't it? Mm. This is the highest lookout. Again, it's got the same things, like the QR scan, scan codes where it tells you about the place, so. Yeah, really cool that Tamworth has this. So we left Tamworth this morning and now we've arrived at Murundi, I think it's called. It's just Murundi Hotel. We're camped out the back and it's free camping as long as you get a meal at the pub. So 
We'll go for lunch at the pub in a second. And yeah, it's not too bad. Still hooked up, got the legs down. Not too many other people here, which is good. So yeah, we'll go have some lunch at the pub and get settled in. Some lunch and a couple of drinks. So can't wait for a good food. Good morning. So we're just at the Mirundi Hotel and we're heading off today. I think we're going to Aberdeen. So should be a free camp there we can find and we'll see how we go. So we just pulled over on the side of the road to make a wrap for lunch and find where we're going because we were meant to stay at a rest area but it ended up being no camping. So we've pushed on to, I think it's Musselbrook. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we're going to continue on from there. Yeah, not sure where we're sleeping <laughs> so far tonight. It's like one o'clock, but mm. we'll find somewhere. We'll find somewhere, we always do. It's just sometimes a little bit like this. So we want to pop on and show you the reality of free camping around New South Wales. Yeah, it's pretty hard, <laughs> especially when you get closer to main towns. Yeah, yep. We will show you where we end up and wish us luck. <laughs> We finally ended up finding a camp and it's called Brankston Park. It's a 72 hour free camp. Uh, no tents allowed though, so just caravans and self-contained motorhomes. So this is our setup. Nothing special. Stinking hot day, it's about 30 degrees or something. No, no wind. Got the solar panel out. Sophie's charging the vacuum cleaner off the inverter. So, pretty good. On the solar blanket, it's a 250 watt solar blanket from LSP. Um, we've been using it for about a month now, I reckon. And on days like this, bloody brilliant. Keeping our van fully charged. We've been off grid so far this week for six days, six days as Sophie said. So. And we're still on 13.5 volt, which is our max, obviously. On the roof of the van, we've got 200 watts of solar. What's 250 plus 200? 450. So that's what we've increased it to, which is bloody awesome. We've been using the coffee machine, TV. Sophie's charging the vacuum cleaner, rice machine all off the inverter. So we're still fully charged, which is great. Thanks to the solar blanket, because we wouldn't normally be able to do that. So going well so we've just gone for a little drive and we've ended up at a brewery so let's go check it out it's the four pines four, four pines brewing co pulled up at peterson's no not in armadale in the hunter valley <laughs> yes so we're in the hunter valley now and we're gonna go do a members tasting. Ginger is so excited, she's crying. Let's go. We just got back from Peterson Wines, our favorite, one of our favorites anyway, there's so many we love. But anyways, just back at the van now, it's about 3.30, gonna have an afternoon red, and an afternoon snack, and chill out for the afternoon. Maybe watch some telly, who knows? So still sticking to our plan of keeping out, going out when, it, when the sun is out. So anyways, you guys, we will see you tomorrow. And yeah, so we're out in the state forest today. Aaron wants me to get the angles. So I got to walk up this big ass hill <laughs> for, for the channel. So I hope you guys appreciate the footage you're about to see. And I hope it's worth me walking because I'm very unfit, as you guys know. Well, if you don't, you do now. This is Broken Back Campground. Um, this is the reason why we bought a tent. 
um, for if you find places like this and you can't get the van up to. So we're not going to camp here tonight, but yeah, it's a beautiful spot. We'll, we'll give, show you around. Got our safety boots. Check. This is the lookout, it's bloody stunning, looking over the Hunter Valley, all the vineyards, it's bloody beautiful, can't go wrong. So what a perfect spot to use our new rug. We thought um, after the fact that we should have brought a lunch, <laughs> but let's sit and enjoy it for a little while. If you guys like our rug, you can get your own um, at Sunny Scenes. We've got a code with them as well if you're interested, it's just Wilson, so it'll give you 10% off site wide. These rugs are really cool as well because they're made from recycled materials. The places like this, obviously we can't get to with the van. Um, it's just a bit too rough to get into. Yeah. So places like this we do want to explore, but we can't. So now that we've got the tent, <laughs> we can. We can. So yeah, super stoked that we can see more places. Not that we're staying here tonight, um, but yeah, just to go and check things out like this to see where we could potentially stay in the future. Yeah, they yeah they're awesome for day trips as well. Like it didn't take too long. No. So yeah, awesome. Yeah, maybe like an hour out of the day. Yeah. Yeah. We should have brought lunch. Should have. Yeah. Would have been nice. But yeah. That's alright. Yeah. Now I'm craving hot chips and gravy. So. Nice and healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get some hot chips and gravy. No. So I was driving with a <laughs> pool on the back of the car. So walking up the hill, la di da di da. He said, take your time. Don't have a heart attack. Can you hear me? Testing, one, two, three. 